Let's talk about taking public transit from a woman who lives in New York City. Let me give you the straight skinny on how this shit works. I've been living in the city for several years. I moved here right after college. I have a lot of experience taking the subway, both for commuting to work and taking it late at night because I'm an extrovert. I did a lot of partying in my youth. So I have lots and lots of experience in this area. Generally during the daytime, you don't have to be as vigilant. You do have to be vigilant if you're sitting near the doors because people will try to steal your phone. They'll wait right until the doors are about to close. They'll grab your phone and they'll jump off the train. So you have to be vigilant with your stuff because there can be theft. There can be crazy people. There's always, you know, homeless people asking for money, depending who you get. Some of them are more or less mentally stable. There have definitely only been times that were, you know, during the daytime hours or maybe like commuting time where someone came on the train and I either genuinely considered getting off the train and moving to another car or I actually did do that because I was like, I don't know what this person's going to do and um, it's relatively easy for me to move to the next car. So uh, let's just do that. Now at night, the thing is that there's just generally less people on the train. So like at night when I'm getting into a car, I generally will look to see who's in the cars as they are rolling up. I would prefer to get into a car that has other women in it and I will kind of eye the guys that are sitting in a car if I'm gonna get in a car and it's all men. Doesn't mean that I won't get in the car if it's all men and it's me and it's two in the morning. Definitely will do that 100%. Because like I said in my other video, 99% of dudes aren't trying to assault you. They're not on the train at two in the morning scoping for women to assault. They're on the train because they were also out late and they're trying to get somewhere or they're homeless and they're sleeping. When I was younger, I took the train late a lot more. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't have as much money. I wasn't like living paycheck to paycheck, but I didn't have the money to just throw around on an Uber or a taxi. I mean, Uber wasn't that big back then, but even so I wouldn't have had the money to throw around. Now I do. And when I've been on dates, whether I've gone to someone's place or I'm out at a bar and it's two in the morning. I mean, usually actually, interestingly enough, the reason that I choose to take an Uber or a Lyft home is actually not for my safety. The driver could assault you. It's not that much safer. What makes it better for me is that I'm more likely to get home at a reasonable time. You know, it's already 2.30 in the morning and depending on what train, yes, the trains run all night in New York City, which is great, but they can take forever. You could miss the train by a minute and then you have to wait half an hour for the train and then it's still gonna take you like half an hour on the train to get where you're going. So then you're looking at an hour versus if you took an Uber, you could be home in 20 minutes. For me, it's always about getting home as soon as possible so I get to sleep. So maybe I'm unusual in that respect, I don't know but I'm hyper aware when I'm taking the train at night of who is on the platform with me, who is in the train car with me. Does anyone seem suspicious? Am I gonna need to move train cars at the next opportunity? I try to look tough, confident, body language that says fuck off. I don't carry myself like what I see other women do, like a prey animal, where they're just like looking around, looking unsure, et cetera, et cetera. There are definitely neighborhoods where like, I won't go. Most neighborhoods that most people, and especially bachelor degree having mostly white women, the places that they're going, cause I can guarantee you there's a lot of overlap between where I'm going and they're going, it's fine. New York City is really fucking safe compared to other cities. It's way safer than DC, way safer than Paris, and especially compared to what it used to be like, it's really fucking safe. It doesn't mean that it's 100% safe. It doesn't mean you can just skip along the streets like you're running through a meadow in broad daylight all the time with no cares in the world, but it's not that dangerous. Honestly, most of the harassment that I've experienced in New York City was on the street, cat calling. It was in lower income, working class neighborhoods. It's not like the kind of dudes that I've worked with, bachelor degree having like white collar guys who have harassed me. It's always lower income, working class, blue collar guys. The other day in Union Square, a man said something like, 
Has anyone told you how cute you look today? Which isn't really harassment, but like feminists would consider that to be harassment because oh, can't we just walk down the street without you trying to talk to us? It all adds up. It's just such a burden. How do I get through the day? What gives you the right to talk to me, you man? I usually just don't even notice it happening. He said it and then I kind of, after the fact, turned and was like, Oh, you spoke words. I'm sorry. I'm looking for my friend. That's interesting. Why are you speaking to me? Mm -mm. Okay. Interesting. I just find it amusing. There definitely have been times when someone, like I was walking down the street and a guy like got up in my space and made disgusting sexual comments in my ear as I walked by. That sucked, but that's not the majority of it. I actually don't think I've ever been harassed on public transportation or while waiting to take public transportation. In several years of living in the city, taking a ton of public transportation, because I only ever started taking ride sharing like in the past couple of years. And it's not like I take it that often because it is expensive. I usually take it when it's cold or I want to get home quickly. It's really not to be safe because your Uber driver can assault you. That's all I'm saying. Think about it. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I already recorded another video that I just need to edit, so hopefully there will be more content on this channel fairly soon.